This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. So the first question is, well, here we go. Should you get a California license? And the answer, short answer, which we can do in far less than five minutes is yes, absolutely. California is one of the most populous states in the country. In fact, it has a population comparable to the entire uh, country of Canada, which has 38 to 40 million people in it. California is about the same. California is uh, filled with large metropolitan areas, a lot of which kind of run into each other in, in huge, long um, metro areas or, you know, basically one long city up and down the coast, just like on the East Coast where you've got like, you know, Connecticut down through New York, New Jersey, and, and then farther down to Virginia, et cetera, where it's just, they may be distinct cities, but they are, they're, they all blend together, right? There isn't really any like space between them. So California is similar, especially in Southern California, where you can go hours up the coast from the border of Mexico and still be in city, right? And have houses and properties and, and, and commercial properties and businesses, et cetera, right? Because of that, um, daily claims opportunities in California are abundant, okay? And there aren't a lot of people that are doing those claims. Um, so it does present a bit of an opportunity for you as an adjuster. It may not be that you, as a brand new person, you know, if you're brand new, you may be able to get that right out of the gate, um, but it may be that you can. Also, California is prone to earthquakes in those heavily populated areas, right? So San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, they also get wildfires. I mean, you remember the, the Napa wildfires from a couple of years ago? Uh, my very first wildfire was just outside of San Diego back in 2003. Um, and those are, that was inland, you know, dozens and dozens of miles, but still there were tens of thousands of people living in those areas affected by these fires and these natural, I've never personally worked an earthquake, um, but they happen, right? I think the last big one was, it's been a couple of decades probably. So I don't know, if, I'm not a geologist. I did study geology in college for a time, um, but I can say that nobody can really say for certain when the next earthquake's gonna hit. Um, you know, it could be in five minutes or it could be 500 years from now, nobody knows, but it's, it's gonna happen, right? You wanna have that California license. Um, there is a uh, stipulation on the application that you have to have at least two years or 4,000 hours or something, some kind of stipulation that requires some uh, insurance or insurance related experience. My best advice for you is to reach out to the folks at adjusterpro.com and ask them about this. Um, because from what I understand, it's not really something that gets checked. And not to say that you wanna, I'm not advising you to lie necessarily, but it may be something that got put on there as a checkbox that nobody really cares about. And it may be that they don't really care that you have two years of experience or not. And I would also offer the idea that a lot of other kinds of experience can be um, related to insurance, you know, sales, any kind of a customer service job, um, any sort of construction, et cetera, could sort of be like insurance related, um, insurance related uh, experience, right? So that that's something that you can, um, say, well, yeah, I, I did, you know, I worked at The Gap for three years and I, I worked at a, you know, a, a Toyota dealer for this long, for two years or whatever it is, right? I flipped houses, I renovated my own house, um, so on and so forth. Um, those things, you know, in my mind, adjusters need to know a lot of that stuff and they need to have those skills. So I, I consider that personally to be related to ins the insurance industry. But if you're, you know, truly, you know, you're concerned about it and you don't want to do the wrong thing, then my first call would be to adjust your pro. And that's probably going to be the last call. Alternatively, uh, you could call the California Department of Insurance and just ask. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.